Hello there and welcome back to another episode in our series. So between the episodes I have once again done a little bit of off-camera work. So let's uh, jump into our production zone because that's uh, changed quite a bit over here. So main things, uh, if we actually start from this corner, I've done a little automation with the water dump to get this hill nice and green. I know it looks pretty empty right now but I'm just trying to clean up this space in here. And then we'll uh, start putting some more trees. Actually, we've got a few spare beavers. So why don't we uh, already get started with this? Yeah, you go up there. Right, lovely. Okay, so lots of trees have started to grow in here as well. And our uh, levee wall or the canal is already operational. Yep, so water goes all the way through through here right now because it's not a drought. It uh, should be still flowing in. Well, technically off the map right now, but... But essentially, yeah, it's in place. Now, I have moved a few things around as well. Actually, coming back to this levee wall over here, I did have to go all the way to this island. And I wanted to just uh, save this little peninsula over here. I guess it's, yeah, it's a peninsula. Because it was all flooding and, and drowning in this water. So I just moved those levees from, from this side onto the other side. And what took probably the longest was just getting the the whole area levied in on both of the sides as well. We've uh, still got those water bumps in here because I was trying to just uh, not let this water go to waste but bump it out and so our beavers could use it. Right, coming back to this side. So we got a few large windmills in and when we do get some wind, it actually, well, you know, it, it's definitely going to power pretty much everything that we have here. Nothing to do in range. Oh, why don't we pause this for the time being? Uh-oh, it's almost night time again. Yeah, so it's going to be a little trickier to see, but uh, let's have a quick look through here. I'll hide the water as well. So that's our old dam that was in place. I would like to remove it and, um, yeah, put it down a little further down the river. We've got a little bridge system uh, already in place as well, but I think it's going to have the same fate. What I missed was we, we can't go through here because we've got those ruins in the way. And I don't want to remove them. I want to have this bridge go straight up maybe right next to this uh, tower of ruins. That would be lovely. And um, let me just speed it up a little bit. We'll hide the water once again. And yep, we had to move a few houses just out of the way as well so we could make a little bit of more space uh, right on this side. Okay, since it's almost morning, I believe we can start going through this section here. Right, so the power crosses over. Nice little bridge over there. And I wanted the main access to be actually from the uh, from the levees or the, the river bank over here. And I was thinking, okay, so let me bring it all the way down. At the bottom, we have warehouses. And all of these ones are going to hold blanks I think so yeah any sort of overflow will go into those storages you might say it's a little excessive I agree with you but do you know what it's fine at least we've got the storage and um, otherwise we would have had to use uh, these platforms but at least now in case we need this uh, space for something we'll always have it now if we go up by a couple of levels okay so what's gonna happen they'll have access from the from the levees over here they can go into their let's say lumber mill over here and um, i've used a set of uh, ladder so they will climb straight down and um, they will have access to the warehouse but also individual log piles well in this case it's a little bit shared over here and um, the idea is i don't want those beavers running all the way to the lumberjack flags essentially once the trees get cut down our haulers, which we don't have in this uh, district just yet, are going to bring them into the log piles, which are very close to our lumber mill stations. Uh, right, some of you might have noticed that, hey, the, you, you've got a bit of a problem. The power isn't going through into those other ones, and that's okay. A, we're not using them just yet. B, we do already have this uh, infrastructure in place, but I guess the beavers are a little busy with building something else somewhere else. Okay. Yeah, so a couple more things left. I just want to move a few houses out of the way. Oh, let's uh, close you. Okay. Yep. And um, let's do another storage in here as well. Right about there. And they are going to need 
let's say somewhere about here should be fine right yeah so what i'm thinking to do now let's take a quick look uh, for this episode i'd like to start making some metal now what i haven't quite decided but i hope i will be able to decide this any minute from now is which district should we start doing the metal stuff i mean i guess we could do it here get rid of a few gear workshops or it might be easier to actually do it here i mean the end goal for me is to how many points do we have oh okay we have quite a few so if we go into the metal section mine takes 4000 up whoa 200 treated planks 350 gears that's quite a few isn't it uh how do we get treated planks again oh and you don't actually take any metal so that's that's pretty good all right i would like to yeah start mining for some more and since we have ton of them let's say 300 4300 and we're gonna need oh we already have you and i think we have enough yeah just about so what we what we can do is let's just uh, unlock everything that we definitely need okay you as well and what would be lovely is if we had access to the to the iron teeth one but you know what we're not complaining too much it's it's okay um so we could place it here and then i do want to move this district out from here in the future so i think uh let's see this is probably the furthest building that we really need yep i think so because that covers pretty large area over here and these forested buildings here as well will support us to keep uh, those trees growing the only thing is to try and maximize the okay so that's the furthest you can go fine yeah that seems about right so as long, long as it's um, sort of yellow or green from the district center if we can reach these, uh, this section here we'll be fine and I'm thinking to move the, the center a little bit closer up here I'm not quite sure how far we can go but I think we'll measure it out. So I know I want to have the bridge cross right about here. So it is next to those ruins. Maybe we'll mark it out as well. So not directly next to it, but maybe somewhere about there. And that's where the bridge starts, goes over. And here we might do a little funky, something funky as well. Not quite sure yet. And then somewhere about here okay we've got some ruins here and here if this road comes right through the two of them and let's see oh this might be perfect yep then it goes right up there all right we are going to block this zone in and i do want to make this space a bit more green as well so we've got a few options i have started to already uh, it is in the range, right? Yeah. Oh, so you guys are building these dams right now. Okay, so that's good. Now, we are going to have to choose the level that we want. And I'm thinking to pass the water through maybe this one here. Because we're not going to... Oh, that's a little bit annoying. It's uh, not wide enough, it seems. But the one below might be perfect. Or maybe the one above yeah let's see i'd ideally like to use a level so we don't have to surround this whole area again with some uh, with some levees so yeah maybe this is a uh, this is the one where where we we shall do it let's see right about here yep yeah, i think i think we could do it do it right about there so this means we we have a few spare beavers right now in our second district. What happened? Let's hide you. Okay, there we go. They are all in place. And, oh, you're going to need access. Right. So maybe a few more stairs. Oh, we're going to have to put levees right up there as well. Okay. Well, not to worry. It's a little bit 
just a tiny bit trickier than expected, but we'll, we'll get it done. And then we'll pass the water through through this level, which makes everything a little bit greener. So drought in about 2.1 days, which uh, is okay. We don't have a whole lot of blanks in the in the bank just yet. So how about we start another one? But I think wind is the issue. Ah, uh, never mind. We're back in business now. All right, a few more beavers we could send here as well. Let's take um, one, two, three. All right, perfect. So, <laughs> another thing here. Depends how long this drought, of course, is. I have removed a little water, automated water uh, station in, in here. I was initially planning to build it here. But now with this being like the maximum uh, range for us, I think the water dump is going to have to be a little bit closer as well. Most likely, indeed. So we'll figure this out once we know when the trout is coming in. And are you guys building these? No. Oh yeah, we're definitely going to need a few more beavers. What about you guys? Oh. Okay, hello there. And I don't think we need... <laughs> yep, alright, we've got a couple more builders. Hopefully they will start constructing everything else that we have queued up already as well. It's quite a few things in here. Right, so with uh, this space in here, kind of mixed feelings about it. So if blanks are being produced here, then gears could be done maybe in this corner here. And then maybe three the blanks right around there. It's an option. Yeah, so for the time being, what's what's really happening is we're just cutting down as many, many trees as we can. And um, I'm thinking to build a dapper shack somewhere about here as well. Because all those pines do have a bit of resin on them. So it would be, uh, would be smart to start gathering that. Now we don't need those water pumps anymore, so we can remove them. There was no water I think in neither of them, so okay, so we brought over uh, quite a few more beavers, didn't we? But do we have enough housing? No, we do not. Let's add one more house in there. Okay. Lovely. Can we bring even more beavers over? Yeah, these houses are empty. So let's, um, yeah, I think we have plenty of babies in our other district. Okay, there we go. Oh, that means we are going to need yet another, another house somewhere here. That's okay. We've got nothing growing in this zone. If we get these two built first, things should be a little bit better. Why is no one, did those babies not come over or what's going on? There's one without a job. Um, oh. Okay, we have people in here. You say we don't have power, but I can clearly see that this is connected. Wait, it, does it mean that power is not passed through from the front of the building? Well, that's definitely not ideal. Are you really? Let me try. Let, let's try this again. Uh, <laughs> oh, it doesn't indicate anything. Okay, here it definitely shows. Here, oh, so you cannot pass the power through from the front of the house. Um, <laughs> well, that's a little annoying, I'll be honest. And our options are a little limited, I think. Yeah, you can't build a levee wall. I mean, if we could pass the power downwards somehow. Let's take a look at the bottom level. Oh, you don't uh, No, You should have access here, right? All right, so quick change. We can still keep those three, but we just had to move them around a tiny bit. Right, so you're going to be connected. Give you a slightly higher priority. You should be the next one. Yep, let's do it this way. And <laughs> in here, wait a second. We could build this road through there. 
And then, yep, I'm starting to like this idea a little bit more. And this space in there. Okay, I did intentionally leave those little gaps in here as well, just to, you know, add a bit of greenery. So it wouldn't all look so sad. Yeah, wind is not going too well so far, which means our blank production is pretty pretty bad. I mean, eventually we'll definitely do some, uh, some of those batteries as well. But they do take some metal. And that's not really uh, really good. Alright, what about you guys? We got four that are definitely running pretty much all the time. What's your gear situation? That's quite a quite a few. Right. Uh, you guys, off you go. And shall we smelt a little bit? Hmm. Okay, one goes here. Let's do it this way, yep. Let's get this built as soon as we can. Definitely want to have worker here pretty much all the time if we can. Okay, there we go. I believe once we get the metal done as well, we should be able to start moving into columns. Yep, it takes a, it takes a bit of metal, but... Mm, just so many things to build and not sure what should be our priority. Alright, there we go. Another lumber mill is operational. Wind seems to have come back. And there's plenty of power flowing through them as well. Still two beavers without jumps, but let's complete you next. And maybe for the two of you, we'll give you a slightly lower priority. Okay, there we go. Get this constructed. Amazing. Now, they are doing these platforms in here. Let's think about access a little bit. Now, what would be smart if this one did cut straight through? Yep, that would be lovely. So that means we would be right about there. I think the height is perfect, isn't it? Yep. Okay, there we go. Now, with the bridges, I mean, we could always use the bigger ones. They are pretty heavy on the science point. Science points, but... uh. Let's see what he did. Oh, quite a few. Okay, so you go about there. Uh, right now we can't be very picky. So we'll have to make do. Perhaps something like this. One, two, three. You're gonna go there. Not entirely sure if we need this. That's already also in an angle, which isn't very fun. And we can do a smaller one right about there. Yep, it's not gonna look super pretty. However, it, it's fine. Yeah. Okay, and then we can finish it off with a platform right about there as well. I mean, we could do a small one in here. But I don't think it's necessary. Okay. Right, so this road... Uh, let us see. You're gonna go up up from there and again uh, where was our waterway oh okay so this is going to be a little bit trickier because uh, the water's going through we will have to put a oh let's bring it up a level as well okay there we go a couple of levees right like so I mean we could do the actually yeah let's not block this in since we do have these lovely little ladders here, we could make it a little bit nicer. Okay, there we go. And perhaps same with you as well. Let's put a ladder right about there. Okay, and everything should be connected up. Yeah, there's going to be quite a, quite a few sections that we have to clear up a little bit as well. Uh, so you go from right about there... These trees can go, you can go, and I believe we had a couple more in our way. Okay, the trout has now started. It's 20 days long. That is a super long trout, and this means we are definitely... Yeah, we're, we're gonna need to build this um, quick little water distribution thingy. Okay, I'm afraid you're gonna have to go. I'd very much love to empty you. Oh, you're in the way as well, and that's 
It's not in a very convenient spot for us, is it? Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's, uh, let's do it like so. You'll be there. This one goes here. And we can clear up these roads as well. Alright. Not a mad rush to complete this, but the quicker you get it done, the better it is. Oh, actually, this might be fine. We don't really have to redesign this section in here. Wait a second, what's going on? Nope, not this way. Yep, that's the, the way we want to do it. A road in here. And then we can have a water dump right on top. Okay, uh, we'll give you the lowest priority. It would also be nice if we could empty you, but we don't really have a hauler station here. Yeah, they're building quite a quite a few things in here, so let us leave them for the time being. So I believe we should already have a bit of metal. First one has been made, and it is pretty slow going. We do understand that, but I think the first thing we'd love to build is a bit of a healer's hut. And what would be a lovely space for it is right about there. How shall we do this? I don't think we need this connection here. Because that one goes through the housing estate. Yep. So what we could do is... Oh, where are we? Oh, that's the main road. Right, gotcha. The reason why I've done and wasted a lot of resources here is... I'm just thinking if he needs to cross over from this side and maybe we could put like a little road here maybe it gives him a bit more access maybe not I don't know but I just thought in case we want to future proof ourselves uh, in case we want to you know pass power through or anything then maybe it would be nicer to build it like so oh actually I don't know why I built this row here I just wanted to do the middle bit because then we can do a lovely little bridge here. Oh, that's not long enough, is it? Yep, so you can go right there. Or we connect it from this side. Hard to tell, but I've, uh, what I've also realized is... I think we're going to have to send some pioneers to clean up this space. We don't really need any of those blueberries yes let's uh, get rid of you okay all the way and if this is our step down i guess the road could go right like so okay i believe we have quite a few builders in here so maybe get this area a little bit more cleaned up as well and then we'll figure figure out the um, the bridge and how we want to build things so i think the healer will be placed right around those ruins here and then they can harvest the resources they need to do some medicine for us and that will be a very lovely indeed okay let's look at the progress uh blanks actually yeah pretty pretty lovely stockpile in here we do have a spare beaver however and maybe we have to utilize them okay so you're almost empty that's fine Let's uh, stick you in there as well. Hopefully no one's gonna get stuck in there. And perhaps these sections will be a slightly higher priority. Okay, beautiful. Are you... Oh, you don't have access. That's why you haven't built them. Interesting. Okay, I guess we are gonna have to relocate some of those water barrels yeah well since we said we're gonna connect it up right about there but this water pump is in our way what we could do is let's um let's shift you over a little bit as well how many beavers live here 23 so one should be enough and um, once this is done okay you're a bit more important there we go and we'll speed it up as well because it's night time let's uh check on the dam progress here oh you guys you haven't cut those trees down just yet but i do understand it's quite a few jobs in your queue 
And you can't go up there because this section is not completed either. Okay, very soon this shall be done. Alright, let's jump back into District 1. And I think the Beaver Army is just about to arrive. Okay, lovely. And now what we can do... I don't think in the middle we need to connect anywhere else. So it's pretty safe to build it just like so. With some stairs going down. Oh, it is unfortunate. These ruins are in the way because we could have... Oh, wait. I think we can still go straight up. I believe so. Okay, I think for now... It's fine. Yep, it's okay. And we don't need this one. Which means... One, two, three... We, could, we can also keep this road for the time being. I do fear that those beavers might get stuck though. And then what we can do is... Oh, wait, one, two... That's fine, we'll just do a smaller link. And then we can remove the rest. Yep, that looks about right. We'll, mm, let's not pause them. Let's give them uh, just a slightly lower priority. There we go. And if you get this one done next. Uh, oh no, wait a second. Ah, oh, those silly beavers. Never mind. We'll let them construct the, the bridges first and the stairs. And then we'll be fine. Right, so the healer hut himself. How big is it? Okay, quite a quite a tiny one. So what we'll do is let's make a lovely small space in here. Oh, some beavers have already come over as well. There we go. You take five metal, we have four. So any any time now. We'll stick you right about there. It would be good to have a little warehouse in here as well. I suppose. But that's alright. Now why is this one not being built? Oh, you just did this one first. Okay. It's uh it's almost done. Oh which way are you going? If we remove these sections. Now we can do the stairs, can't we? Yep, get this one done and Oh, okay, you're building this one. Fine. All right, let's skip the night and then we'll look at uh, District 2. Right, so here we go. Another morning. And it seemed these guys were a little full, so I'm just going to give them a couple more nearby log piles. Right, so our next resource that we do want to do here is gears. And with the gears, I, I think I'd like to build them above water. Or maybe not. No, it actually would be nice if the water is kind of visible, even though we did hide it. Yep. But this uh, this basin here is very nice and sort of flat, where it's just perfect to grow anything that we do want to grow. And another little tricky thing that we are going to have is how are we going to transfer the power onto the other side without it looking too messy? I mean, I guess they could have their independent uh, windmills, but sometimes I do... I think in previous series as well, I did like to have a one centralized power system. Yeah, we're going to have plenty of logs here. So let's see, maybe on this side. But then again, this road will be lovely if it's just like in the forest. And then we are going to remove you for sure, aren't we? Yep. You haven't got those trees down just yet. Oh, no, that's fine. Where are you? Oh, now he goes. Okay, perfect. Right. Gears. Uh, since this is the new main highway, I don't want to build anything here, right? And this one's going to go up and through. And same in these sections as well. We're just going to pre-plan it in. And now we see the space that we have to to work with. Actually, do you know what? I've, uh, I think I've made up my mind. So what we'll do is... We shall... They can have access from from behind there. We shall use this space for, for the gear production. 
Right. Yep. That's that's how we're gonna do it. And if it's not a permanent solution, so be it. It's fine. We'll just uh, start building now. Right. If this is the main route, I guess the access. Oh, this is all a little bit messy. Let's uh, get rid of these sections because they're not really helping us with anything if I'm completely honest uh, those pillars in here aren't very useful either so you can go oh dear they have already filled it with water okay good we caught it in time let's uh, set you up as well you're gonna be the highest priority and pause when above uh, let's see about uh, this should be fine unpause when below so now that should keep us uh, nice and fertile even if the water level drops in the main canal back onto onto this side of things so the access yeah I guess we could do it from from here with some platforms or we could move it around let's say right about there and as soon as this link is done we can get rid of this dam over here i guess yeah let's uh, build another platform right about there we'll uh, remove this link altogether and hopefully that's gonna help us a little bit do we need to go down here mm, no so those platforms aren't really needed what would be more useful is if we had a storehouse Actually, this could be fine as well. We can leave those platforms in. No, it's a uh, wasted space, isn't it? Yes, it is. So, we'll flick you around. We can do it this way. Let's make sure we are not storing anything in here. And for access... Oh, I love those, those ladders. They are absolutely amazing. Right, there we go. So the main problem that we have to solve next is it's going to be yeah the power how are we gonna bring this over that's definitely the biggest question okay so as soon as this bridge is done as well um you're gonna have to be moved over okay just like so and they'll just get one one sleep in that house and then we'll take it out all right connection seems to be complete uh, I don't like the look of this bridge to be if I'm completely honest but it just allows us to have a few more plants underneath uh, right and let's do one more perfect and we produced a few bits of medicine already don't really see them anywhere so you need okay I think you have access to everything you should uh, let's jump back into this area so yeah, I think this is kind of like the style we're most likely going to go with. Now, what we shall do, we can actually expand it a little bit. We can go all the way there, which is great. And then here as well, the road's going to go through just like so. Which means, hmm, let's see. If we do a storage right about there... That fits like a glove. And then we'll just have to figure out how we're gonna link them together. So one is definitely not enough. We're gonna need a lot more than this. Right, I'd like to have a tree behind. And if we place you like so, it will pass the power through. Or if we do it... Let me just pause it for a second. And we can have one more right about there. It is going to block the the road, however. But I think we're fine because we're not going to cross over from here anyways. Yep, I think we are okay. Now, we already know it doesn't pass power through the front. Oh, let's uh, pause you for a second. So we are going to have to do it. Oh, uh, wait a second. We have warehouses here. So we might be fine. Yep, let's set you to none as well. You are already done and same with you. Alright, and that's pretty much how key is done then. All they're gonna have to do is just uh, construct it, let it be for a little while. And this can be the section where we do gears. After that, since we already have some of the pines in here, 
we can't even squeeze the what are they called the wood workshop somewhere here as well i don't think we need too many of them maybe about two two should be enough and if we are really desperate for the treated planks then uh, maybe a couple more i think if my memory serves me right treated planks were needed for the iron teeth when you were doing the more advanced mine but for our purpose since we are folktales uh, we're not gonna need as many treated planks all right so that's a uh, good progress for our production zone and um, in the next episode we'll um, start building uh, underground mine right about there and what i'd also like to start doing is i think this place is pretty um, suitable for like a little column factory as well i mean we can uh, export some of the resources back to our main colony and uh, yeah let's uh, let's do like a little column factory here and see how usable and uh, fun they are to have in our colony as well so that marks the end of our episode so thank you so much for watching it's been a pleasure and i look forward to seeing you in the next episode <laughs>